Hey guys, and welcome to an episode with me, the Stonk Dad. I'm Alex, and I'm super excited to get into this little recap video uh, with you guys. Over the last week, we've had a lot of movement in the market. Uh, we've seen a little bit of a pullback, and we're just going to get right into what I want to talk about today, and that is the Convergence tool. And to give you guys a little backstory of what the Convergence tool is, uh, it basically shows you the strength of price action relative to flow data, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit once we get into the nitty gritty of this last week's back test. Usually I do these back tests um, during a live stream, but I thought that I'd start making videos on it just to make it a little bit more professional, I guess you could say. Uh, but I still will do live streams every now and then on YouTube if you guys are interested. So let's get right into this and I'll kind of explain um, the basics of the convergence tool and also uh, market net flow as well. Um, we've had an average about 80 to 85% win rate of the convergence tool. So I'm kind of excited to see what it uh, turned out to be uh, this week. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the uh, market net flow tool. And basically what it tells you is it tells you that all of the calls and all of the puts of the entire market and it averages out into these two lines. So all the buys and sells of puts into one line and then all the buys and sells of calls in one line. And it averages it out, averages it out into the net flow is what it's called. So here's the red line for puts and then the green line for calls. And then this white line is the price of SPY. Um, and that's kind of what I compare the market to in the data. They do a really good job with this with uh, the price of SPY as well. So you can kind of get a good idea of what's going on here. So um, what I usually do is I start from Monday and then I go through Friday and I see how this convergence tool at the bottom performs. So basically what you uh, do for the convergence tool is uh, you get in on the strength, right? You want to catch a good trend play. Uh, if in your trading it if that's what you go for if you're like a scalper or a day trader or whatever um so usually what i do is i uh, i don't really count the first 15 minutes of the market because there's not enough data in there for really to get a good idea of what convergence um really is trying to to show us here but so i cancel out the first 15 minutes and then i go after that so if it's red that means you go short and if it's green you go long and then uh, I back test that using this chart here on SPY. So let's go down to um, Monday, which is the 17th of July. And I usually take a screenshot of it so I can draw on it for everyone. So let's do that. Okay, so here is the market net flow chart for Monday, the 17th of July. We had a very, very strong bullish day uh, on that day. You can kind of tell just by looking at this chart uh, how high green the green calls were and then how low... Um, this red line where it was for puts. So if it's below zero, that's really good and you can really catch good moves. And these are ideally the best days that I love trading because um, they're trend days and they're pretty easy to trade, especially once you if you use this convergence tool. So let's uh, do that. So remember the first 15 minutes I do not count. So 9.45 uh, Eastern time, uh, it was green, but it was kind of choppy. And then uh, the flow data kind of um, was choppy as well. But we got a better picture towards that uh, the first 30 minutes of market. So we did flip green here. It didn't show us a um, green dot, which it usually does, but sometimes it doesn't. It's a little glitchy. But that one was a dub for sure. That's a win. Um, you can clearly tell when this flipped green and then price went up. So it looked like it flipped gray slightly, and then it flipped green again because it showed a green dot. Oops, that's a terrible arrow, but you're going to have to live with it. So there's that. That's a green play. That one shot up. That one went up. That's a dub. Um, let's see here. This one was kind of choppy. I'm going to count that one as a wash trade because um, it, it kind of got you out uh, relatively at break even. It didn't move very much. During the middle of the day, it's kind of, of iffy because uh, convergence, I, I've noticed in the past that convergence isn't the best performing during midday. So like during lunchtime, it's not very great. But in this case, this one was green. This one worked out pretty well. It looked like it went red for a little bit, but then it it uh, rallied back again. Clear as day. That one's like a dollar or so move. And then it did it again. These are all wins here, guys. This is pretty impressive. So here's another one where it flipped gray slightly and then it went back green. 
So there's a win there, win there. I don't think one single loss this day. So four for four. There were losses, I remember, but this was a four for four day. Now let me um, post this so I don't lose it, the screenshot. There's that. Okay, let's move on to Tuesday. <clears throat> so this was another great day um, where you could have went long. <laughs> uh, I love days like this. So you can clearly tell that market net flow during this whole time was super, super weird. Um, I, but the price of SPY did go up, but convergence kind of kept you out. It was still gray that whole time. And then it finally started picking up after SPY moved a little bit, which is all right. But uh, just to be sure, I usually always wait for the confirmations on, on flow and convergence. So um, that was a convergence flip. That one did pretty well. It was a little bit choppy towards midday, just like I said. But nonetheless, that was still a win. Looks like this one was another win. Win here, win here, and then another win here, guys. Uh, trust me, it's not always wins. But uh, it's very, very, very accurate when there's uh, large divergent flow days just like this one. And I think I said that already. But that one went three for three. Three for three. And I think Wednesday was a little bit iffy. I know, I, I think Wednesday was pretty good. Thursday and Friday were the rough ones, if I remember right. So this one was pretty bullish flow, um, but price action was a little bit choppy. Um, but that makes sense because puts were also on the rise too. So we did have a kind of um, reversal here on SPY, but um, you can see that the gray convergence kept us out of that. So remember, first 15 minutes I do not count, but anything after that I do. So this one was a win. This one went up about a dollar or so. And then this one might have been a loss. I'm not sure. Let's see. Got to do it straight. Mm, that one's a win, actually. It's so small, but it's still a win. That one went up about 50 cents or so. And then it turned gray, and then it, it plummeted. So gray convergence is our savior. I, I tell everyone that. Gray convergence is the best. Keeps you out of losing trades. Okay, so there's another win. Sheesh, guys. Trust me, Thursday and Friday, were uh, there were some losers. I got into some of them. So <laughs> this convergence flip was actually a loser. So we're going to count that one as a loss. It was very small, but nonetheless, it's still a loser. This one, I'm probably just going to count as one because it did flip gray, but I'm just going to count that one as one. That was clearly a win. Look at that. 454.80. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, around 454.60, and it shot up all the way to 455.80. So that was about a dollar. So let's see, one, two, three, four wins out of four, or sorry, four wins out of five trades. So here comes the losers, guys. <laughs> and that happens when flow gets really choppy. I'll, I'll be able to show you here in a second. So here is, this one was, wasn't as bad as Friday's, but um, nonetheless, you could see that uh, it was still overall bearish, which it did catch a couple of good bearish plays. Um, but it did kind of uh, reverse here a little bit, and then um, it did come down a little bit, but not as much as I'd like on this gray converge or red convergence here. So it did flip here. Remember, first 15 minutes, I don't count. Actually, ooh, that's a – let me redo that one. So this one was 15 minutes after. It, did, it was green, but it only went up – I mean, it only went up like a few cents, so I'm just going to count that one as a wash. It did go up. It was probably green, but then it immediately flipped gray, uh, and you probably would have gotten stopped out and break even. So here's a flip here on red. This one, too, did go down, but only a few cents. Let's see. That one was about mm, like a 50-cent move. I might uh, – is that a win or a wash? I don't know. I'll leave that one alone for a little bit. This one was a clearer dub. This red convergence flip, it went down, price of SPY. This one was a win for sure. Let's look at this one. So this is another midday one. These ones are weird. This one was, I gotta remove this arrow. Oof, that one was terrible. That one, if you would've, I'm just gonna count this whole thing as, as one win because it did head down. So this one was a win, this one was a win, and then this one, 
I'll just count as a wash because, uh, yeah, that one doesn't count. So that one went two for two, actually, which is surprising. But um, Friday was the one where I took losses. I'm pretty sure. So let's see what happened here. I need to go back to fr uh, Thursday, this day, and see what my trades were because I'm pretty sure I took a loss on Thursday. I took three trades on, on Friday or Thursday, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's look at Fridays. Now, Fridays was the r the big mess because Flo was really choppy. I did take a loss on Friday. I do remember that one. So let's see here. So first 15 minutes don't count. It did flip a lot, uh, Convergence, because Flo was so choppy. So I'm not going to count that. If it's touching, I'm clearly not going to take it. So I did... So what happened here is I did take um, puts once this came back up to uh, an EMA, and it just kept going up. I think it was this one or, or up here, um, but it was really choppy today. So this one's going to be a loss. I can clearly see that that one was a loss because it, it was very, very choppy. This one was maybe, this one was probably a win because it did come back down. So if you would have gotten into this one, you would have made your money back on that and then it flipped gray almost immediately and then went up so let's see i'm just gonna i'm probably gonna count this whole whole flip here just one win because it did had trend down about a dollar and it flipped green which is surprising you see this flip green well convergence actually did pretty well on here but it was red it was very very choppy you probably wouldn't have stayed out of that so I don't know. I might not count that one as anything, not even a win. And then this one was a loss this long. Excuse the arrows, guys. So this one was a loss. I might not count this one as all at all. Yeah, I'm not going to. So let's see. one, lo Two losses and two wins. So this one only went two for four, which is okay. Ideally, you don't want to play. Uh, you don't want to trade at all when flow is this choppy. Um, but I did go short, and it kind of went up like about two dollars or so, a dollar fifty, and that was my loss for the day. Um, but convergence definitely helps you, as you can tell. Um, so let's do the calculations here. What we did: four wins, seven wins, eleven wins, thirteen wins, fifteen wins out of six, eleven, fourteen, eighteen. So fifteen for eighteen is freaking good, dude. 15 divided by 18, that's an 83% win rate. Let's see if it focuses here. Come on. Come on. 83% win rate. It's insane, guys. It performed very well. Last week wasn't as good as it did uh, this, this week. It was like a 75% win rate um, the week prior. But nonetheless, these uh, these tools are freaking nice, guys. And I use these every day. If you guys want um, to learn a little bit more about um, convergence and market net flow, head over to my Discord in the link. Um, I have a lot of information about that, um, my YouTube videos as well. Um, but if you want to talk with me directly all day, I talk about gamma exposure levels, market net flow, convergence all day, every day. So if you guys are interested in that, head down to the uh, detail, the channel description, video description, whatever you want to call it, uh, and come join me in Discord. I will see you guys in the next one, and let me know if you guys want to see anything new. Um, I love doing these kind of recap videos because it kind of shows me how well these tools are performing in my trading, um, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.